This is the uh, UK's uh, Royal Air Force uh, Volumet Station giving out weather for uh, the uh, Air Force and uh, so I'm receiving this on 5450 kilohertz. Once again I'm using the uh, Alfedri uh, SDR and um, it's really fun little thing to tune around and uh, you know kind of cool being in the living room taking it, taking it easy. You know, we all want that little, let's listen to shortwave in our living rooms because it's kind of cool. You know, you're in your little home, you're in your little place, and you, it's, it's fun to tune around, you know. And unfortunately, interference is one of the problems very often. Now, this is cool because with this uh, SDR over my network, well, I have access to it on all my computers. You know, all that's missing uh, that would be cool is, you know, apps for like iPads and uh, Android apps that would let you tune around through your network to the same receiver. Uh, because, I mean, it's really, really fun to uh, play around and uh, I'm having a, a, a lot of fun tonight uh, tuning around. So, uh, Royal Air Force in the UK. Uh, this is on my 50-inch uh, TV in my, uh, <laughs> in my living room uh, with the, the laptop computer plugged in. It's uh, plugged, uh, so it's receiving the data from the uh, SDR over my Wi-Fi network in my home network at home. So, and for those that think this is radio over the internet, it's not at all. I guess there's uh, the, an SDR, a software-defined radio, is a radio. It's just that it doesn't have no control knobs, and the computer serves as control knobs. And the uh, advantage of that is that it's much more flexible, and also. You have the visual aspect of the waterfall that's just so cool because you see every signal, uh, the signal you're tuning and all around you uh, what's happening. So it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, for example, the line you see on the right side where I'm not tuned, that's also a, um, a volumet station. That's the, five zero, uh, that's the 5505 uh, Shannon volumet in Ireland. So, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of cool because you have a visual of two stations. Uh, basically because the receiver is receiving all of that at the same time. So, uh, really nice. And uh, continuing my test, you know, I want to make sure that I understand it uh, thoroughly and also that I uh, I want to 
compare it, uh, you know, with like my cheaper soft C6 and uh, even, you know, compare it with my ICOM. Uh, what I really like about this one, it's much more filtered. So basically, uh, the way it's plugged in right now, it's cable for Ethernet. So it's uh, um, a cable plugged in the Ethernet jack into my routers. And um, I have a little five volt power supply that, I've, uh, that I'm using and that uh, supplies its power in a, through a, a USB cable. And um, so it's auto, really, you know, um, a standalone thing. You just leave it there plugged in and you just start, you know, HDSDR when you want to listen and it's there available on your network. So uh, cool little thing. And uh, for around 200 bucks, I got to say that it's one of the uh, most full-featured SDRs that you can have at that price, especially uh, having the possibility of having it over the network, which is pretty cool. So uh, this is the Royal Air Force Volmet from the UK 5450 kilohertz upper sideband.